I never say this, but it's finally raining, which means that the snow is starting to melt. But I want to give you a quick update. We're still there. Today is Thursday and we went in on Monday. All the animals are doing great. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more. Now the place where we're staying is close to um, our home, super, super close. So I can come here and uh, put the animals inside early. So they've been going in early and now it's almost nine o'clock and they're ready to go out. Look at Annabelle. She is like, excuse me, I'm over this cold weather. Can you please get rid of it? I can't, I'm sorry. I can't do anything. Hi, it's the most beautiful pregnant lady in the world, me Clara. Okay, I'm gonna feed you. And then you guys can come out, okay? If you really, really want to come out. I think you guys really, really want to. As far as Clara, she is not shaking anymore. Since temperatures are going back to, I mean, freezing, but still okay. Annabelle is in heat since yesterday. <laughs> And I'm hoping I can come back this afternoon and bring Rocky to her, put the girls inside and kind of get that done early, maybe around three. Right now she's kind of in love with Clara, her mom. Um, Clara, I mean, she is such a weirdo, I promise, she <laughs> really is. <laughs> She does the weirdest things. You're okay. I know, you want a boy. And probably today's the last day, huh? And I might come back at three and she's not in heat anymore. That's something that is totally possible. Now, these lights here are very terrible because there's no something to charge them. But the girls are doing fine. Nobody's shaking, they're all eating inside their little shelters and I typically put them out here side by side but I, you know, a few videos back I explained that I wanted the girls to eat more, the little girls, the twins to kind of grow to that healthy way to breed them so I separated them but when there's not too much sun I kind of put them separated but close to here so at least there's some light I feel like if us humans need okay Claire need uh, the sun vitamin D I feel like they do too but right now since it's cold I feel better if they're there because they have this uh, little wall that keeps them warm in there and they the I mean you can feel the warmth coming from uh, the straw I'm gonna replenish a little bit of the straw just in both of the stalls hey okay, Brie Brie you gotta get out of there come on get out and just feel like they're warmer there and they don't have to be because uh, there is a little bit of wind and the door is open for them to go outside if they really want to so I feel like staying there for now will work out so I'm gonna replenish some of the straw even though they're probably gonna be in my way and just trying to eat the straw like, like this little guy who loves to eat my straw I'll show you a little bit more of the damage now. You think that since the snow is gone, now look at that. That happened last night. It's kind of, can you see it? It's in the, the earth and that's a branch that fell, I'm assuming from somewhere there with those trees. There's another one that fell over there. There's another one that fell over there. There are more small ones 
falling around here so even though the snow is gone we still have when we walked that, this fence line the other day if you remember on the video see this is new <sighs> that was already there but this is new this big limb so I've been going around the fence line and the different pens just to make sure that you know, there's no holes although I don't think the goats are gonna come outside it's still raining but Annabelle is in heat and with Annabelle in heat you really never know I'll get you a boy okay yes Claire's doing so much better I'm so happy she's doing so much better I guess she hates the snow as much as I do look at her well she's gonna give us a show but I still have which I kind of saw the breeding happening and everything but remember we were getting the boys in and out of the pen <laughs> so I'm still checking her ligaments just in case that I mis miscalculated um, Claire is a very deep body though but you can still see her baby bump here and she's only you know, she's supposed to deliver February 14, according to what I saw and when I put them together. But <sighs> this is her baby bump. But she's very, very deep. Like, let me see. Let me see if I can show you her belly. <laughs> can you see how close to the ground it is? I mean, she. <laughs> those babies are laying low. And. Which, that's what made me wonder. She started to, ugh. Claire, I swear, you always have to go to the bathroom when I'm trying to record you. Um, she is starting to develop a little otter. Can you see it? I mean, this is not her first freshening. But it's always fun when you, all of a sudden you realize Oh goodness, they're developing an adder. And again, if my calculations are right, uh, she still has a lot of time. And if I can't get to your breeding today, we'll do it next month, even though it's gonna make you have babies when it's super hot. Okay? Not your babies. Your babies are not gonna be delivered then. Hello, my beautiful Bree Bree. Hi, Bree Bree. Where's your mama and your sister? Are you over the snow? Wanna talk about it? Are you over the snow? Talk to me. Say what you feel. How do you feel? Is this warmer? Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. It was so cold. These girls are so, like, <laughs> chubby. They eat, especially now, since they have two feeders. They've been eating so much hay. I kind of have to control the alfalfa part of the hay a little bit more because I don't want them to be overweight. Right? You look like your mom. You have your mama's face. Yes, you have your mama's face. You're a good girl. I'm gonna come back later and I'm gonna pet the girls, okay? We breathe? Okay, sweet girl. I will be back. And I will kiss the girlies. I know you don't like when the boy comes here. Like, no boys in here. This is the girl pen. We got rid of them a long time ago. We don't like them in here. Well, you're gonna go into heat. One day, and you're gonna have a boyfriend. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you don't see them very useful at this point. I'll be back later. Go hang out with your sister and your mom, okay? Yeah, go hang out. 
Oh, something beeping. I'm gonna check. Anyways, it out. that was the update, and I appreciate you coming back to the channel. Everything it seems like it's gonna start go back to normal sometime next week. Uh, it is already starting to look a little bit more normal, but I can't really wait um, to kind of go back into our routine. We all know you're the queen around here. <laughs> Do not bite on my clothes, Miss Bri Bri. No, no biting. I know, boy is cute. N cute n boy not cute? Okay, they're not cute. What's up with your ears? Should I check your ears? Oh, they're fine. They're cold though. They're super cold. Let me look inside of them. Mm, you cannot eat my stuff. Yay, we're not being cold, right, Clara? Right, sweet girl? Stop scaring me, okay? I love you. Come here. Mm. Have a good day. Okay, you want kiss? Mm, I love you. You girls have fun, okay? You girls have fun? Okay. By the way, when the snow was here, it was so crazy because we've seen animals like nearby where we sleep, like in our living areas, so, so close. Like yesterday we found some bobcat prints. My son said that he saw one a couple of nights before I think it was maybe Christmas night and it's kind of crazy but I guess they're kind of freaked out too they don't know what's up with this and they're kind of going out of their territories but uh, he was somewhere there you can tell by the prints and well, right now it's it's melting but it's gonna take a while and my greens are gone my carrots are somewhere there. Should be okay. What, Bri Bri? What is it? Oh, you love your Grammy too? Oh, see Clara, everyone loves you, Mama. 